Lord, let us all pray silently, meditating on God's words. Living Father, Almighty Father, I have faith that you are God Almighty. Today, help us to be a wise person that can make the promises of blessings we have, that we can make it ours. Help our family to receive answers to our prayers tonight. Help us to be changed into a blessed uh, people. Help our children to be filial children who honor their parents, who contribute to their society and to their country, and that there be love between brothers and sisters, sisters. To many people, help us to be righteous servants of yours that give benefit to many people. Help us help this evening to be one where we make your promises ours. Help us to have joy in our heart. Help us to be able to rule over and have dominion over the the peace of promise that you give us. The promise of peace you give us. Uh, let our wishes be fulfilled. Let the sick be healed. And those who are scarred in their heart, let them have peace in their heart. In the name of Jesus, in thankfulness and blessings, I pray. Amen. Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and was seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now, let's greet the person next to us. Let's let's have have joy. Let's have joy. Let's wear the joy. Let's have the joy in our heart. Let's wear the joy. Let's have joy. Let's wear the joy. When you wear the joy, then peace will be upon us. So those who are the United, from the United States, there are many people here from there, many people who have also visited, but a country like the United States, it's not like the education. I don't know details, but it's not like they respect your education. It's they know what you're capable of, not not a uh, graduation certificate is not the most important. That's that country. It'll be a time more and more that's like that. Even now, people are still focused on the examination, college entrance examination, and which uh, university your child will go. Our country will not do well with that. So amidst this, we have to go the right path and find the right path, the proper path. Up until now, about baby Jesus being bo born. It's a, I don't know that much about theology. You know, when I paid money to uh, learn lies, that's what they told me. Rejo uh, rejoice, our Savior is born. This, it's a promise of the whole uh, uh, joy, promise of joy for the whole world. But we don't know about Christ, then it's of no use. This evening, vigil service, we came here because if we're going to fall into ruins and our children have to be destroyed, our wealth and our employees being over. Amidst that difficulty, find resolution to that, those difficulties, that's vigil service. This is, that is Genesis 30, chapter 32 and chapter 33. We heard receive answer from, from uh, answers from those problems. Rejoice, our Savior is born. That's the key. Christ is the key. But the churches, those who say that they are going to share the word of God, they're ta they talk about poverty. Does God, he came as Jesus Christ, not just for the poor. For all people, he, he came for all people. So, they're so good, that's, they're, are they excluded? No. And, 
Are they only, uh, does this only apply to those who are poor? No, people are saying things that are mistaken. Matthew chapter 1, that's not the case when we look there. If, even King David, who was so wealthy, it, he was he's included in this. And somebody who received curses, and those who are sick, even the lepers, it, this applies to them as well. Who, for whoever it is, it applies to them. That's this gospel. Why people talk about our poor neighbors, they talk about our poor neighbors. How how rich and how great are you that you talk about helping just the poor neighbors? God being with them are those who, you know we leave all the wealth on this earth people think that that's that's wealthy no if you have that kind of mindset and you deal with the Lord you don't receive anything you only receive curses if that's the case why is our churches like this these days why they say they believe in Jesus but they're not in the light they're only in darkness and they're suffering according to the promises of God the light of the promises of God God has made it without receiving the light of Christ, we cannot see the light of God. Uh, underneath uh, a lamp, we, you know, it's one color, but un underneath the sunlight, it's a different color. Why? Because the light is different. It sees, it makes our eyes see differently. So therefore, all the blessings set before you, healing of disease, problems being resolved, all of that, we have to, we can see it. And when we receive the light of Christ, without receiving the light of Christ, we cannot see the solution to that. Deuteronomy 30, verse 15, we can't, that blessing, we don't see it as ours. Some people say, amidst their own thinking, and then I realize, oh, that's blessings and that's curses. Oh, if I have that, then I must do the opposite. No matter how much you do the opposite and try hard, those who have their own thoughts, they're going to receive curses and calamities. Those who have their own theories and thoughts and stubbornness, no matter how much they try to, uh, uh, to turn, to look everywhere, there's only curses. There's We have to be moved and changed to receive blessings. And yet, the people don't realize this, that they don't need Christ, and they're not able to profess Christ. And those who are not even, those who don't even profess and know Christ, call themselves pastors, elders, deacons, then you and your family will receive only curses and calamities. And yet, people don't realize this. Now, let's have proper realization. This gospel is this the light of Christ. It's, it's not for the light of Christ. We cannot have peace. We cannot make it ours, the peace. And we cannot give glory to God and rejoice. Our Savior is born. It's not that then. There's only curses and calamities. Without Christ, we cannot see the blessings for us that's set before us. Each of you right now, you don't know what color. When I see the color, when you see in the lamp, you know, it's a no matter how, no matter who sees it, it's a different color. But this, when, but in the sunlight, it's a different color. Why is that? Because I'm two different people. No, so because based on the light, it's the same color, but it's different when you see it under sunlight versus a, a different light. So worldly knowledge and wisdom, it's not worth much. And we learned something by from education, worldly lies, and yet we. We have to see it through the light of Christ for us to know it properly. People don't even realize this, and they look at the Bible. It's very unfortunate. Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, 24, 25. You should read verse 24, 25, but on your own. But verse 24, 24, it's important. Chapter, Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, 24, 25. You know, when to have a, a wedding, it's not to gather people to feed them, but rather in Joseph. Joseph, he took Maria and fed, fed her it's a, for, to show that he's, it's, he's uh, able to overcome his fleshly desires. That's very important. In this limited amount of time, we want to only share that which where we'll receive answers to prayers. So Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. Let's read that one verse. Uh, let's read with one voice. Let us begin. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name, name Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. Amen. Now, that's the case. You and I, we talk a lot about a theological seminary. You think you have to graduate from theological seminary. What do they talk about in, in the seminary? Jesus. They talk about Jesus being born. But is this the right date or not? They argue about that. What date was the right date? Isn't that really, doesn't make sense. If the date has to be accurate, that, whole, that world at that time, 
we should have computer at that time to make accurate time frame. But if that's the case, Jesus, the disciples of Jesus, and God moved them. What chapter, what verse, if they said that? They can, then they'll say, oh, that's fake or that's real. They'll, they'll argue about that. It's not what day that he came. The fact that he came, that you and I, to save us from our sins, that's, that's to be saved from our sins, from being, to be, to be set li uh, free, to, to go to heaven, to be happy. To, it's talking about us being saved from uh, being really not in liberty to being in liberty. It's talking about that. So we don't have much time, but during seminary school, what good is it if we do that here? We just have to follow according to the Word of God. So when I, I didn't talk about that much, my wife asked to talk more specifically, but if you try to figure it out, it doesn't say that you'll be saved if you know the date. If you're going to Christ, you'll be saved, however. So people figuring out what date it is, there's different factions even now. From what year, what time? Well, it was if, just because you, you know, what, what year BC or what year AD? You take out A, people know it's B and C. This, what year it is, and so forth. People from six uh, or years before BC and years after AC. Uh, A.D., excuse me, that's not what's important, what time it is. Surely, the fact, he, fact he was born is, and he came, that's what's important. So therefore, at that time, the history of miracles, different miracles happened at that time. There wasn't really proper calendars. They, they talked about what chapter, uh, what month, what day. They'll say, those people who are trying to fight, our, pick arguments will argue about that. So the God, he uh, used the disciples, you. You saw what era of what king? I saw this at certain, the era of certain kings. They just talk about that. But people argue over that. Even now, if you go to seminary, you pay money to learn that. It's of no use what era he was born. What good is it if we talk about that here? It's of no use. So the trash, if there's one trash. So what good is it if we argue over what date it was there from? No, we argue over things less valuable than that. So what it's saying here, in Luke, chapter Luke, the, the fact that the Lord came, Christ, when Christ was born, the, the relationship with us and that, but what's Emmanuel here? Let's read it one more time. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which translates, translated means God with us. Amen. Each of you, it says, don't forget, God with us. We can be a king, or we can be a beggar way, way below. But today, when we share the gospel, they talk about, let's help our poor neighbors. That's very fascinating. It says, related to all people. It's for all people, not just for the poor people. People Then people think Jesus came just for the poor. No, that's that's wrong. Why is it? It says for all people. Why do? Uh, why do they narrow it down to just the poor? That's a problem. They're starting lies from the very beginning. You and I, it's all We're all applicable here. We're all included here. What's Emmanuel? God who is with us. God with us. So, who is God with us? Who is this God? A virgin was born. A virgin. It's a virgin. A birth. A child. You know, it's uh, it does. It's not even possible by to, by logic. But if you want to doubt, you know, from here, if you want to cast doubt, you cannot. From here, you won't be able to read the Bible if you don't want to believe it. But in front, it says above. It says the Holy Spirit. He was he gave a birth through the Holy Spirit. Second Peter chapter one verse twenty twenty one. If you don't know. First Peter 1, 20, 21. So, if you don't receive the Holy Spirit, Matthew 12, 28, you have the demon inside you has not depart to departed. How can you be qualified to read, uh, read the Bible if the deep demon inside you has not departed? It's very pitiful. Now, today, this evening, 
Emmanuel, Matthew chapter 1, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, what's Emmanuel? A virgin birth a, a, a child. His name, it should be called Emmanuel. Who is he? Christ Jesus. So each of you, if you're saying doing four-step repentance, then you become Emmanuel. God will be with you. Why will God? Why must God be with you? First Samuel chapter two verse six. Very unfortunate. So you say you attend church and you even come to Busan First Church, and you're not able to go beyond your curses and calamities. You're still bound by your own thinking, and you. There's so many people who are servant of the demons. Those kind of people. The way they eat the word of God is already their attitude is already different. You can see by how they eat. The 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 chick that's about to die, that if you give the feed, then the way it feeds is different. It's already very sickly. And the way it uses its beak is different. Others will are busy eating, but the, this one, the, the sickly ones about to die, they don't feed properly. You can, they have sickness. The food they're about to eat, should eat, they don't eat. They have only excuses and they have only grumblings and complaints. And then they, they their added, you know, their, their um, posi posturing is off. Their eyes are not properly open. The chick, it feeds wrongly. It doesn't eat what it's supposed to eat. Pretty soon it's going to die. The Romans chapter 2, 6, according to your actions, he will pay back to us. So doing the deeds that is going to end up receiving curses and calamities. And then they don't understand how the piercing that's here to help save them, help them live. Those kind of people, God is not first in their life. Their flesh is always priority. And what they want, oh, always, their children are priority. Oh, always, their work, own work is priority. So why? You're going to worship from worship service. You, why are you leaving? Yeah, something's busy at home. Of course, that's how you can, you and your children can fall into ruins. They're doing the deeds of falling into ruins, yet the foolish ones, they don't even realize that, that that's their actions. That's what they're doing. Uh, God, he said, he'll pay back to us according to what our actions are. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, 2 Corinthians 5, 10. And those with evil spirit inside, they don't listen to that which enables them to re, uh, listen and receive, answer, uh, receive blessings. They're holding on to what they can argue with. Uh, the, what they saw in the lamp and foolish, then they look together at the lamp with lamplight. Oh, this color is this color, right? Surely it's this color, right? And let those with demon inside, those who have not received the Holy Spirit, they say, yes, that's true. Yeah, I saw it with glasses on. It's, uh, uh, that's the color. But when you see in the light, it's a different color. The pastor talked about the color in the light. They looked at the color in the lamp and say, hey, it's a different color. It's a different color. They, those who do those deeds and receive curses and calamities, very pitiful. So even here, look here. Look at the people next to each other. They always has grumbling and complaint, excuses, justifications. They're the best. They what they're doing is priority. They're going to receive curses and calamities. Matthew six thirty three. If it's not, if you don't seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, you'll fall into ruins. They do those deeds and they want to know why things aren't working out for them. So if we just only love God, the blessings has already set before us. What you what your eyes have not seen, what your ears have not heard. What your heart has not thought of, First Corinthians two nine, He will give it all to us. We have to receive this blessings. We're here to receive that blessings. It's, a, it's so great. We're here to receive this, but yet we miss out on all of these great things. Each of you, in your family, if you don't have a descendants for generation, and there's one child only, one son only, where. There's only one child, 40 or 50 years. And then after that, if they have a son that in that household, they'll be so, they'll be all having a festival. They'll be so happy. But however, then they, those kind of child, they're weak and they, and they end up, uh, you know, they do all sorts of fortune telling and rituals and then they end up dying. You have to be. 
If a child is not weak, if a child is not healthy, instead of being thankful to God, they do all sorts of rituals, uh, uh, hedonistic rituals. They end up dying early. Yet they say, a child that's fam uh, precious in a family, and then they have a short life, they say, but they already did the wrong things. Our ancestors had realized later, when they die early, a short life, it's a, we have to, they, they make a name, like dog down. They, there's many people who grew up, older age, that had name like dog dung so that they would have a longer life. And then a wealthy child, a wealthy ch child, they say, oh, they'll have short life, so then they'll try to make them clothe them into poverty so that they'll have a longer life. That doesn't make them have longer life. Clothe them like they're poor so that... God wants us to go back to his path, Emmanuel. He wants us to be with him. So this virgin, when she has a child, what's a, uh, this person, God being with us, enables Emmanuel, this virgin, birth that child that makes God with us. So that child is Christ. This is an incredible promise. Yeah. Here today, Emmanuel, when we meet God and the promise that he'll be with us, all of us, you and I, that it will work for us. This Emmanuel is you and I. He kills and makes alive. He's the one that takes away blessings and gives us blessings. We who are in the trash heap, he'll raise us to the highest place. When we read through verse 10, in the trash heap, in the trash heap there's a rose that could, be, uh, that could bloom. It's recorded that there. We don't have time for all of that. In verse 6 and 7, let's read that First Samuel chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. The Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to Sheol and raises up. The Lord makes poor and rich. He brings low. He also exalts. Amen. Do you say amen? Emmanuel? A virgin? Oh, a headache. How can a virgin have a child? You shouldn't believe that, people say. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense, people may say. Why do we believe in a virgin having a child? But a virgin having a child? That virgin, through the child of that virgin, you and, we and I can, can become a person who is with God. We become incredible people. Say amen if you want this blessing to be my blessing, to be our blessings. We have to make this blessing our blessings. In the small sanctuary, we have to receive this blessing as well. It's an incredible promise. What is Emmanuel? He kills and makes alive. He uh, being with us. That's Emmanuel. Do you say amen? So who birthed that child? A virgin. This vir virgin birthed a child. People, people say, some people say that's not possible, but that's there. The people who see it that way are people of the flesh. This event of Emmanuel, Isaiah 7, 14. God has already stated this. It's being fulfilled what God has already uh, stated. Now, here today, Emmanuel, Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. So in verse 24, 25, it's in a dream, even though we hear that. Joseph, uh, Carpenter Joseph, who is the fleshly father of Jesus, he took Mary, Maria, uh, Mar Mary, according to the words of God in his dream. He, he did not uh, sleep with her until Jesus was born, and Jesus was, and Jesus Christ came. What did he came? What did he give you and me? No matter how well we live on this earth, you know, poor to the poor, wealthy to the wealthy, in that kind of society. The poor will always be, the, the lower caste will be lower caste, but you can move your caste to an upper class, but we were not free, free from our sins. Romans 16, 16, if we were captured, in, we were uh, captive to sin, how much torment we are, uh, uh, in torment we are, we talk about freedom, the freedom, liberty is only given to us through Christ, through this child that this virgin birthed, through, Christ, uh, through Jesus Christ, when we go to seminary, we talk about 
Christ and Jesus, there, there all sorts of titles. You, you do that for a thousand years, it's not Emmanuel. You, it, Emmanuel won't happen. The Bible, according to what the Bible teaches us, Matthew 1.1, 1, 1, let's look, go there, Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. Through Christ, we find our genealogy, our roots, through forced of repentance. Whether me, who was a peasant, from not being at liberty, to, but rather to be a uh, Brahmin and an upper class, and according to our wishes, having our wishes fulfilled, we find our roots. That's Christ. We find our roots as a upper class, uh, as a blessed person. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. The record of the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So, Genesis chapter 2, ver 12, verse 1. The source of blessings, Abraham, the child of David, Jesus Christ, our genealogy, the son of David, son of Abraham. The people who realize, saw, so it's, it's the genealogy that in verse chapter 1, verse 1, through Christ, through Christ we find our, the, uh, our roots, our, our genealogy. So after that we read who, who begot who, who begot who. People talk about who begot who after that. About this family tree in verse 17. Let's go to verse 17. I'll read verse 17. And all the people from Abraham to David was 14 generations. And from David to Babylon, being uh, taken as captive to Babylon was 14 generations. Babylon to Christ to Christ is 14 generations. And then after that, when I go into Christ, my family tree is, is our genealogy, our roots are fulfilled. Who is Abraham? Who is David? And then in there, in Harlot Rahab, who is that? And who's the one? And who's the Harlot Rahab? From the king to the harlot. It applies to anybody, from the king to the harlot. It's the promise of hope that for everybody it's included. For everybody it will work. Whether you're a widow or a widower or anybody, it will work. It's a promise that whoever it is, it will work. This is an incredible promise. So that's why this evening, all those who are here, for everybody, it will work. Everybody who's living on this land, it will work. Well, that's what it's saying. It's included. Whether, whether, let's only help the poor neighbors. Where did Jesus came and say uh, say that? It says, for everybody, it will work. You think you're, you're rich, but you're actually a beggar as well. You're poor as well. If you think you're wealthy because of money, then you're ignorant. You're... Um, above money is fame, and above fame is uh, favor from God. That's Proverbs 22, verse 1. If you don't, 22, 1. If you don't know the right uh, measurements of yards, uh, values measurements, then that's, they're not a proper, they're foolish. God being with us, that's the highest blessings. How to receive this favor from God? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 3 and 4. We have to have mercy to forgive others. As, uh, not criticizing others, this truth. When we don't, Romans 1, 8, Romans 2, 8, this truth. The truth that we receive from Christ. John 1, 17, the truth that we receive from Christ. The per God, God's mercy is upon those who has this truth. When we listen to the other tapes, it's all there. If you, if you want to just write that and share the sermon, then you're fake. If you don't know, then you shouldn't share it. Shouldn't to your own work if you don't know how to if you know how to do it you can tell others this is what you need to do oh when they say oh it doesn't work do it one more time oh they can't do it for example you make a castella you can make it it's flour and small it becomes a soft bread if you make ask them to make make it, it there's some people it's so hard the castella is so hard when we tried it that's what happened I don't know how many decades ago, my wife, she came back from somewhere and she bought the uh, electric range. It was when castellas were very precious. Just, my, my wife wrote a recipe and it didn't work. But the person that knew how to do it, it's not uh, right with a recipe. They just do it when they do it. They watch what you did wrong. Oh, this is where you're wrong. Fix it. Then that will be over. It'll be resolved. This is the, that's a message. Jesus, he shared the message like that. We have to receive this blessing. It has to work from us first. And then we, if it doesn't work for us, it won't work for others either. Today, that bread, when we made it at home. We, oh, I said, oh, you, this was uh, decades ago. You learned something good. Uh, 
you know, she wanted to boast a little bit, and she, she wanted me to uh, break the eggs. That's it. And she wanted to prepare other things. You know, I'm crazy about eating, but I didn't, you know, beat the eggs. I only, I didn't beat the eggs that much. They said, did, did you beat the eggs? I said, yes, later on. The, 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 you know, the more foam there is, the, the softer the castella. It just talked about beating the eggs. So I just beat the eggs. Uh, when you're repenting only, that's, that's why you're fixed. Which, uh, when they when they baked it uh, baked it with flour it was hard they they uh, built a uh, we baked a brick that's a, no matter how much we lighted it it didn't it just baked when we took it out what was it it became a tile you can put on the wall a flour tile it's very hard no matter how much i tried to eat it it was hard so the castella was supposed to be soft what we made and what we bought was very different. We don't know why. We don't know why where we went wrong. Your life of faith is like that. Emmanuel, if we meet God, then we receive answers to prayer. Your problems will be resolved. For everybody, it will work. You'll receive power and strength. For everybody, it will work. In that small sanctuary, it will all work. For everybody there, 